Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Corn Beaner. Today is January 29th, 2013, and today I want to talk to you about this man right here. If you don't know who this man is, don't feel bad. I did not know either until about three days ago. This man is California State Senator Leland Yi. The reason why I want to talk about Mr. Leland Yi is because he has been a very big proponent of trying to get video games or the sales of ultraviolet video games banned to minors and make that a crime. He was mildly successful when he authored legislation back in 2005, even though that legislation was deemed unconstitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court. Well, in the wake of what has happened last year and finishing off with the big tragedy that happened in Sandy Hook, it seems that they're at it again. The politicians in the United States, including Mr. Yee, and he's not stopping. So. When asked about what he feels about gamers' voices or gamers' opinions in the matter, this is what Mr. Yee had to say. He goes to say, Gamers have got to just quiet down. Gamers have no credibility in this argument. This is all about their lust for violence and the industry's lust for money. This is a billion dollar industry. This is about self interest now when, when it comes to that statement right there i am going to i guess say i agree with him a little bit because i remember growing up as a kid and banging my head against brick walls hoping that i would have enough change for the ice cream truck and i actually remember killing my dog one time because i thought that if i hopped on my dog he would spring me up to the second floor of my apartment building which tragically is not the case and um if it wasn't for video games putting those stupid ideas in my head i probably wouldn't have had a metal plate inserted in my head and lost a dog in the process now does that sound stupid yes it does uh, mr e you are i'm going to try to say this in the most respectful respectful way that I possibly can you are very ignorant when it comes to the video game industry you are taking the worst of the worst of the games being made and by worst I mean games that you deem ultra violent and condemning the whole industry never mind that some of the most popular games that have ever come out in the history of this industry are non-violent games Dance Dance Revolution was a big arcade hit for a long stint of time. Just Dance is a popular game that has taken hold within the last three years of this industry. Super Mario Brothers, probably one of the most comical, less violent games that you can have out there, has been successful for the last 25 years. Gran Turismo, a nice racing sim, has been popular for almost 15 years not violent. The fact that you will take the worst example of what this industry has to offer, this beautiful industry has to offer, and demonize not only the industry itself, but it's people saying that we are a public health hazard is ignorant. That is no different than looking at a man and judging him by the color of his skin or his sexual orientation. You need to get to know the industry before you are able to judge it. If not, it is complete and utter ignorance. And if it sounds like I'm screaming, that's because I am. Ignorance in the world only breeds more ignorance. You are trying to pass this legislation due to fear and take advantage of the tragedies that has happened in this nation for your own self-interest. It has nothing to do with my interest. It has nothing to do with my safety or the safety of my child. You are taking all the tragedies that have happened in the last year and before that, trying to pin them on video games for your self-interest of trying to control the populace for your own good. That is all that is going on here. If, if you want to blame somebody, there's two causes of what happens and what, what is the cause of the incidents that happen. One, mental illness. People who are born with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or are just wired in a way that for some reason have violent outbursts, that do not get proper medication and or care, is one of the reasons why a lot of these things happen. And the second, and this is the one that I feel is more common, is bad parenting. If two people
people are allowed to have a child and cannot spend at least an hour a day with that child because of their busy lifestyle, then they have no right to bring a life into this world. If a parent's idea of proper parenting is going to the store and taking 12 year old, 14 year old junior down to your local game store and buying them the game that says M for mature, meaning 17 plus, same as an R rated movie, and buying said game and giving it to little junior, and then not only that, but letting him play it without any type of context, without any type of explanation, without any kind of background, and letting him go at it for four, five, six hours? You know, I'm not gonna lie. Showing your child violent images can possibly trigger violent responses to life situations. I actually do understand that part of it. But it's the parent's job to take that child and explain to them that what happens when you're watching the screen and playing on that box, that that is an imaginary world. You don't bring that world out to the real world, out with the general public. You keep that here and make sure they're able to separate it. If you cannot do that, then these parents should not have children and these parents should not be buying their children these violent video games. It is the parents' fault that are giving these children the money, the time, and all of this without proper guidance. Me, I don't let my child play these games. They're too violent. I want to preserve his innocence for how little he has it in this life. I want to enjoy that innocence. Do I let him play video games? Oh, hell yeah, I let him play video games. What, what does he play? Super Mario Brothers. He plays racing games. You know, Moderation Nacers, Little Big Planet Cardi. He loves racing games. So I let him play. They're not violent. And whatever little violence there may be because there's weapons on these carts, it's comical at best and he finds it hilarious. There's no blood, there's no gore, there's no spines coming out of anywhere. You know, he likes the Mario games. Let him play those. I let him play Brain Age back when he was like two years old. Brain Age actually helped his mathematical skills and pattern recognition skills because of a game. He doesn't play any of the ultra violent Call of Duty. Does he know that his father worked on some of them? Yes, he does. But I still don't let him play it. The only parts of Call of Duty that my child has seen has been the credits so he can see his father's name as they roll through. That is all. If you want to demonize the industry, I suggest that you get an education in the industry first and then pinpoint what you want to target. But demonizing not only the industry, but its populace as a whole is very, very ignorant. And you want a perfect example of it not affecting people, look at me. I'm older now. I've been around and I've been playing and enjoying the, the industry's games for the last 25 plus years. Since I was younger than my own child. I've come to play some of the most violent games out there. Mortal Kombat, before there was even an M rating. Mortal Kombat, Primal Rage, Pit Fighter. The list goes on and on of how many bloods and guts I've seen coming out of the screen. But you know what happened? My dad explained to me the reset button. He explained to me that this world is this world. This is the world that you play in for a few hours a day, few minutes a day, or sometimes even an all day if I had a weekend. That is that world. When you come out to the real world, you come out to the real world. You leave this world alone. And he kept explaining it to me over and over and over and you know how I remember because I remember thinking God this guy is stupid for telling me but that's what had to be done and he wasn't scared to be a parent and he told me and if by chance that wasn't didn't sink through there was my mom and she was more blunt pretty much saying if you don't leave that there and you bring it out here all the old school cats know what I'm talking about it's that fear that fear of your mom that's greater than the fear of God so yeah, Mr. Leland E. first educate yourself on the industry that you're trying to demonize and figure out what you want to do from there. I think I'm perfectly fine. And if I was angry, so be it. You are demonizing me. You are attacking my way of life. It has nothing to do with my self-interest and my lust for violence. It has to do with this is what I'm good at. And you're trying to demonize it and make it harder for me to get a job. If you prefer me to live on food stamps and government money, Hey, by all means, I can do that too.
But don't demonize the entire industry when it's very clear and blatantly obvious that you have no idea what you are talking about. And that's the way I'm going to end my video. If anybody who has seen this video has any comments to say, we can keep the discussion going. If you want to ask questions that I can make videos about later as far as the video response, feel free to comment down below. I'm always open to discussion. That's what all these videos are for, is to open the discussion of stuff happening in the gaming industry. If you have any other questions that you may want answered, love questions and all that stuff, I'm probably not the person you should ask, but I am always open to answering those as well. I will link to the story down below. This is from the San Francisco Chronicles. I will link to that down below. And I'll also link to Mr. Yee's, or Senator Yee's, uh, Twitter page and his official homepage and those links will be down below So other than that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye